Hey guys, and I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and we're getting close to the new year. I am playing Lake. I was I was looking for this game because I didn't know what it was. I saw like clips of it or like uh, pictures of it. And I said, what is this? And I did uh, why a simple title called Lake cro didn't cross my mind. So let's see, it's supposed to be a very common game. Kind of like the common games. I mean, after I played um, Horace Moon One World, uh, that drove me nuts. <laughs> oh my god, that game drove me nuts. I rather tell people to get that new story of seasons over that game. At least now, story of seasons is fully updated and has all the things that were kind of missing from the get go. Oh, what's going on? Funny how to program the science to help organize your life. Is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. Labor Day party. And that sucks. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can spend spend two stress-free weeks in good old Brendan's. Oops. So this is 19. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. So, does he want her to die from stress? So you can't keep working if you don't never have breaks. Do we need their vacations? Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. I like the beat. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag. Walk to the mailbox and insert the mail. Okay, okay. So we'll go to the mailbox. She can't run. No, oh, because she got a. Walk faster button. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. Ha, <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. 
They make it look so simple, but what I heard is a very stressful job. But I think that this is because this is around like a what very uh, small town, so of course this probably looked very easy. Ooh, now I've been trying to get a job at the post office, but uh, couldn't. Been doing very bad luck on the test. Looks like even when I had good scores, I there was never. Never got a call. And then you got people who can't tell their... Hmm. Well, I guess nobody's home. Okay. Walk faster. Yeah, let's do it. Because I was saying that, um... Uh, the people they hired around where I'm at, they don't know how to tell their D's from their B's or their A's. So... That's why in, around my town, um, they getting, uh, like, lower scores. <laughs> you got packages going to the wrong air addresses and everything. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. I mean, she had to be there at 7. I bet some people had to be there like at 5.30 and stuff. Depends how big your where you live at and how big uh, the area is. Monday afternoon, Beatrice. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Thanks, Bye. Mom. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Ah, I'll talk to you later. Gee, trying to kill your worker? That's what you're telling me? All right, time to start a drive. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Here we go. We got we got a package in the first stop. CRB. Okay. We got letters to deliver. Let's see, we start from here. Look like. So it's two oh seven Main Street. The first stop. Then three oh. Okay, that's letters. Okie dokie. So it's 207, the first one. 207. I heard you could have get in you could have get in trouble in this game if you um uh crash cars and stuff. I'm like, really? That's not right. That's a missed opportunity. Or like the, um the crazy ass mailman parked on the wrong side of the road. 
Yeah, I'm the main character, dudes. I said it was 207. It's a small town, so she probably don't have much to do anyway. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Oh, I hope not. I'm delivering today. Oh god, I thought I turned off the radio. You ever notice that it can green light, green, uh, white light it for me, but at the same time... But it sucks, because I really want to listen to the the talk show thing though okay we're still we can park it on us around side of the road again I can park in their ground on their driveway boom shaka laka I'm not blocking the road probably like oh I remember this is the old Sugarman place but the envelope says McGill must have moved away mm. Might as well go to the far out one first. So we can deal with the rest of them back here in town. So we're gonna go to that far area. I'm actually enjoying this. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's a small town. Lucky you're not living in the city or anything where you had to do more walks and more routes and stuff, from what I'm hearing. Funny how the job market is saying they're hiring, but I'm getting a bad luck of not getting callbacks and stuff. Seems like I'm not qualified for anything. Makes me feel very useless at home, even though my mom says it doesn't. But that's how I feel. And there's Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? I uh, sold it for somebody, huh? And it's supposed to be a package. This is 500 Lake Road. Of course the bigger one is theirs. Oh, by myself. Yeah, the walking facts option. Yeah, they should have done better with that. But isn't this their first game? So... Mm -hmm. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But my gosh, it's you, all right. Wow, Maureen. Long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always to say. <laughs> to the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Okay. Okay. One quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee no, no, coming right up. No and one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Oh, God, and Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. 
Oh. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Oh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Oh. That poor kid is like a disaster oh. magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Yes, girl. I'll come back. We'll be talking on the, that nasty coffee, all right? Probably lots of sugar. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now we head back into town, I bet. Yeah, we got no deliveries, so we just head back that way. So we got a few letters and some packages. Okie dokie. Back away. You can crash into cars without any insurance. <laughs> hey, look at that. We don't have to worry about it. We can drive all crazy like we want to. We'll break the laws and no one would care. Crash into a tree, insurance won't care. Because this game will not let you do any of that. I wish it was. I wish it lets you get to get yourself into trouble. It'd be great. Hopefully they make if they make a sequel or something kind of like this afterwards. Make it more um since now they know what to do now or something like that, the next game. Totally get it. I wanna see what they wanna take it. I'd be very happy. I like I like games that tend to take away from the norm, you know. Take away from the norm, that's what I just say. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. To be honest, I won't be living right near a lake though. Probably be like up in the hill somewhere. <laughs> uh, that's just me. Watch too many disaster films. Bill delivery, suckers. Let me get a package. Two hundred Lake Road. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh, look at the kitties. Hi, kitties. Oh, we got one on the roof. Got any more? I'm surprised they're not sitting on their seat. Oh, look, Genevieve. A new mailman. Hello there. What's your name, then? Hi, Miss... Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't yes. you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Twenty-two years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. <laughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but mm. you do remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins and her cats, of course? Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. 
Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Damn. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Rude little lady. Kind of. Oh, I'm black in traffic. I'm so sorry. I want to take my time to start off in a circle. Don't look at that. The circle of life going slow. Oh, how you doing? Yeah, you better be smart. You supposed to go around me, you sucker. <laughs> okay, let's see. Whoops. In a few days, I won't even need that map. <laughs> Crash into the guy. <laughs> oh my god. 300 Lake Road. <laughs> Do -do -do. He got paid for his insurance. He don't have to worry about me. I am. I disappeared. He probably got a dent right there on the side of his car. I don't give two craps. Hello? Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. There you than go. me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Alright. Alright, I promise. Good! Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Gone, girl. Get your mechanic on. <laughs> Why would you say, are you a little young to be a mechanic? Hello, there were a lot of young mechanics way before. I don't know. No, we did not turn on the radio. You know they said they can whitelist it because if you um show them the video or whatever but i don't know how many parts i will have of this and probably trying to get their attention for all these all those videos is probably going to be a little headache maybe maybe not let me think where was bear creek again in a crew oh no do you guys live near bears that's scary i mean yeah as long as they was Stay in the forest area. Yeah. I like how they made it big enough. Oh, right. Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. I like how they made it big enough for the him to fit that car. Okay, here we are. Stop trying to tell me to trigger the freaking radio. It's probably going to bother me until I click on it. Oh, he has a letter. I wasn't looking. Sorry. There's a new face. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Oh, what the? That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Not good indeed. I'll be on my way. Bye. Uh, yeah, you too. Uh, uh, 
Bye. And pardon my French. Yeah, I didn't want to be nosy. Uh, they just be too nosy, and people are like, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we gotta head back, huh? Turn to the police office. I mean, the <laughs> post office. <laughs> to get rid of my day. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the map here. Can we head in that direction? But then I had to go through that neighborhood, too. Well, we can turn right. Or left, I mean. Turn right and left. I remember seeing somebody play like a part of this, and he said he did like Lumberjacks. It's something that. It's something that he. Um, I think he watched a lot of movies about a lot of Lumberjacks, and they turn out to be like serial killers or something like that. And I had to laugh so hard that I missed like all the uh, dialogue and stuff because I thought it was so funny. Oh, I went tons, a tons, and you still hit the freaking thing. So the only thing we gotta look for is deers. Okay, there have been warning signs about bears, if it's true. Whoa. This is close to where I had my first kiss. Whoa. Really? Where was that at? I like, girl, you better tell us where you had your first kiss. We need all the juicy details. We nosy ass people playing this game. You know, you know how to say stuff like that in front of us. I don't know, so far I like the game. Is there gonna be some improvements? Heck to the yeah. Hopefully if they ever make a new game of this, something like this again with the same company, I'll be all for it. Okay. I took the main street. Yeah, it does feel empty. It's not much people walking about. Oh, look for somebody. Can you run people over in this game? It probably will let you stop way before the freaking, um, even before you hit that person. Can you hit somebody? I might find out a little later. Unless that's a game over instantly right there. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm reading lots of books in the sun. I also went on a beach walk and I saw baby turtles mm -hmm. hatch. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Um, have fun, Mom. Mm -hmm. Open the agenda, it says. Oh, the left here. We have nothing. We have nothing in our agenda. We have nothing. I close it back. I read a book. Can we pause? Oh. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter One. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstauben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, 
strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Kurt, what time is it? I might have to put food in the oven right quick and I'll be back to deliver more mail and see what else we learned today in this day. I'll see you guys next time.